Hello guys and girls, and welcome back to the King's Challenge. I'm just gonna call it the King's Challenge from now on, because that name is way too long. Anyways, last time, as you may remember, we, uh, some pixies stole our sunk book. You but we also, we also left the village, so let's, uh, let's just right click on everything. You see a large hill from here, atop of which is an enormous tree surrounded by the fairy village of Cran Naoim. Okay. A small lake has formed here, probably getting its water from the runoff of the fairy village. And what about these mountains? I really like these mountains. Off in the far distance are the Mirror Mountains, and past that, beyond your view, is another range called the Forlorn Mountains, which border the Land of Sunlight. You once traveled through the Land of Sunlight, plying your trade. And it was indeed a most beautiful land, full of friendly people and beautiful scenery. Oh, so kind of like this place. You resolve to travel there again one day. It would be good to see your friends again. Indeed. So is the... oh, rainbow. The rainbow is always over Cran Naoim. It must wow. be magic. Indeed. Uh, is that it? Um, oh. You can hear faint noises coming from the town of people going about their daily business. Okay. So, anyways, I think we should uh, head west because, um, as you may or may not remember, can I can I look at it? It's a map. Ah, oh, there we go. So this is Cran uh, Nomi, and here's the pixie tree and. The guy who stole our um, songbook was a pixie. Or a girl. Whichever it was. So let's go find him or her. I think it was her. Crystals! There are some crystals growing from the ground here. Let's take you them. You couldn't take these crystals if you wanted to. They're too firmly buried in the ground. Shovel. We need the shovel. The trees of these woods grow sturdy. Much can be told of the antiquity of the woods by gazing at these towering trees. Oh, yeah. You don't have a reason to climb these trees. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, mushrooms. Mushrooms grow here at the base of some trees. And we needed a, uh, what was it, royal mushroom? For the general store, dude? Nope. None of these are royal uh. mushrooms. Can I just... Wait, what? Where's it going? Where are you going? What? Giant mushrooms. Whoa. These are some giant mushrooms. You couldn't carry one around if you tried. Then let's, uh, let's not. These crystals have grown straight up from the ground, making you think there must be large caverns and caves beneath this land. Yeah, that's quite possible. You'd never find the queen in time if you tried to carry this behemoth around with you. <laughs> that's a good point. You touch the crystals, <coughs> and you can feel the power of the earth running through them. Oh, really? What about Fallon? Hello there. Fowler, right? Why, well, yes. Hello, Bard. Finn, I believe? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, how is your search going? So far, so good right now. I'm stopping to think for a minute and see if I can discern where a queen might be hidden. Sounds like a good plan. Mm, is it just me or does it look a little bit, a little bit like a young Hugh Grant? Uh, have you seen any pixies? Yes, actually. They live in a grove up north of here. Alright, that's where we're headed. How are you doing? I'm well. Just trying to figure out where the queen could be. Tell me about Lord Sinister. Uh, well, Lord Sinister. he was the scariest man I have ever encountered. I'm just glad none of us have to ever see him again. I love a good laugh, and <laughs> this name makes me laugh. You just know he's evil. <laughs> Tell me about Grand Aoi. Well, it is where I was born and raised, originally. But I left home as a young fairy, and have traveled the world and had many adventures. I always wished to return home. 
and I thought it was time to now. Just in time for the good old King's Challenge. Oh, so uh, you've been here before? Good old? Tell me about adventure. Adventure, you say? I've had my fair share. I once rode a Narthian from the Silver Spire of Syringa to the Bay of Hygonia. It was a free day trip, but we did it in two. Uh, bye. Bye. Good luck, Bard. Um, can we make him happy? Oh, we don't have our other spells. Oh, that's right, because we don't have the book. Oh no! Alright, let's do this. Yay! Look at me go! Such a nice song, and nah, he doesn't care. Let's it's one of the other challengers, Fowlin. He was at the king's court with you. Okay. Uh, so is there anything else on the screen? I don't want to miss anything. I'm trying to mouse over stuff, but there doesn't seem to be. So let's just head north. Pond. Oh, oh, okay. A log lays here on the ground by the small pond, rotting as the years pass and the weather breaks it down. Is there anything in the log? You spend a good ten minutes searching the log thoroughly. Ah. Nothing. Sometimes a log is just a log. Well, not in an adventure game, but... <laughs> Although you... I guess this was a troll log. You imagine this rock would be a great place to sit and fish. Oh, uh... Although you'd love to sit here, maybe fish or play the loot for hours, you have to find the queen. That's a good point, narrator. The pond is filled with stagnant water, although some lily pads are growing in it. There doesn't seem to be any fish life living in it, though. Aww. Oh! Can we, uh... Should I save? Uh... Exploring... That's good enough. Whoa, he just... Wow, what a drop. What a steep drop. Can we go south? I guess you can't. Oh, but there's a... There's a wilted flower there here. There at the edge of the shallow pond, on a small grassy isle, you see a most wondrous multicolored flower. Yeah. As you take a closer look, you realize this flower is wilting and won't survive if it stays planted here. You decide to take it with you. All right. As gently as you can, you pull the flower from its small grassy aisle. Wilted flower. Although this small flower is wilting, it is still remarkably beautiful. Well, there's a pond and there are beautiful flowers, but I don't see a result The crystals there. of the fairy kingdom are a beautiful reminder of the magic power that flows through this land. When you touch the crystals, you swear you can feel a faint buzzing of power. When you let go, the feeling of warmth and power remains for a moment. All of these crystals have different text. The crystals of the fairy kingdom... Okay, I guess these are the same. Nope, none of these are... Can I just click through all of these? Nope, no... Okay, guess not. Guess there is no royal mushrooms. Oh, here we go. Oh, is that the guy? Blue pixie, green pixie, red pixie, blue pixie. That almost sounded like uh, battle music. You appreciate the leaves, but you don't need any. Yeah, okay. Around the base of the tree are a number of fallen leaves. Surprisingly, they don't look wilted or dying. This place is truly magical. So there is no death in this realm. Everything just stays alive forever. When you touch the tree, 
You feel the power of the fairy realm flow through it. You realize you can't climb this tree for fear of damaging it. Can we damage the pixies? This magnificent tree is the home of a group of pixies. Its leaves are a beautiful burnt orange in color. By the way, guys and girls, just saying, I will probably try to click on everything and choose every dialogue option. Just so you know. Just so we can be thorough. This pixie seems to be lounging around lazily, away from the other two. Okay. The small pixie dressed in blue is <clears throat> intently focused on the pixie with the book. You know, this could almost be a Powerpuff Girls reference. Almost. It's a small pixie, dressed in red, resting on one of the branches of the tree. The pixie is holding your book of songs in her hands, occasionally flicking through its pages. Come here. What do you want? Forgive me, little fairy, but you've got my songbook. It's very precious to me, and I'd like it back. Silly man, we're pixies, not fairies. Everybody knows that. And don't even think about trying to take our book. We found it, and it's ours. You want it's me? not yours. You stole it right out of my hands, and I would like it back. No, it's ours now. There must be something we can work out. Well, maybe there's something you could do. We lost our harp in the swamp, and we want it back. It's so much nicer than this dirty old book. If you know where it is, why can't you get it yourself? A terrible creature lives there. The biggest, most baddest monster ever! We don't like to go near it. It's scary. So, if I retrieve your harp, you will return my book? Yes, yes. Just get our harp. Wow. You appreciate. What a jerk. She just stole our book so we could do her quest. This pixie isn't interested in talking to you. She seems to be distracted by the pixie holding the book. Oh really? To me it looks like she's falling asleep or something. When you touch the tree. Oh. This pixie isn't interested in talking to you. She seems to be dis- Oh, okay. Uh... Was that it? Guess so. You don't need to climb the rock. Besides, you disturb the pixie sitting on it. Yeah, yeah. It's a giant rock with a pixie sitting on it. Yep, guess that's it. Oh, bushes. The entrance to this glade is bordered by a number of low-growing bushes. That didn't accomplish anything. Ah. <laughs> Alright, we have, uh, what is it, three quests now? Or was it even four? Probably? Yeah, let's just get, let's just get every quest. Oh, what about these mushrooms? They look different. You oh. quickly brush. Oh, these are, these aren't interesting mushrooms. We don't care about these mushrooms. Far in the distance, you see a pristine lake that adorns the beautiful landscape of the woods. Yeah. Signpost. The kingdom of the spiders lies west. The fairy realm lies east. Be at peace wherever you travel. There's no reason to take the sign with you. Okay, fine. Um, I don't know how good of an idea it is to enter these woods, but um, sure, let's go for it. There are a lot of spider webs around this area. Hanging from trees and encompassing the remains of another traveler. Oh, really? You touch the webs lightly and find them extremely sticky. You decide to leave them alone. You touch. Wait a minute. There are so I probably need. Uh, I can't touch this. I probably need some knife or dagger or, you know, something like that. This appears to be the western border stone for the fairy kingdom. Although a large tree has grown and displaced it over the years. You touch the border stone. You do still sense some fairy magic about it. It feels warm and inviting. 
as if to welcome people to the realm. Ah, nice. Alright, uh, let's go into the sp spooky forest. Why not? Ooh. I can't oh. allow you to pass. I'm sorry, Madame Spider, but I need to pass. Whatever for, dear young Bob. I'm trying to find the queen for the king's challenge. Oh, a good and noble bard. No doubt on his way to sing songs of glory. That's what I'd like to do. I just need to have a proper adventure before I can write my magnum opus. I'm sure you will, young one. So I will tell you this. Beyond this point lies the kingdom of spiders. And you do not want to visit there for this challenge. Why not? <sighs> Look, kiddo. The king ordered that I not let anyone pass beyond this point. The queen is somewhere Ooh. within the fairy realm, and no further. I see. <laughs> Sorry to bother. Thank you for your help. Perhaps uh, someday we might meet again under other circumstances. We spiders are often misunderstood. We are good neighbors to the fairy folk, and not the monsters people often paint. I will always remember that. <laughs> Just back away slowly. Count on it. Oh, and she left. Um, I was hoping that maybe we could show her the gold coin, and she would let us pass. Wait, did it? Oh, no, it saved. Okay, that was weird. Uh, so what happens when we try to enter again? <laughs> Hello again, young bard. You know the rules. I remember, but I what can I do for you, young bard? Oh, oh, that's good. What is your name? What is your name? My name is hard to pronounce, so most just call me Esmeralda. Oh, really? What can you tell me about the king's challenge? The king likes to play his games. But this often does lead to a hero showing his colors. The queen is secreted away somewhere in this realm. I do not know where exactly. It is good to remember that fairies are fond of illusion. Okay. What can you tell me about the kingdom? Well, young Mark, there are a great many places for one to hide. From the fairy woods where we presently stand to the great swamp in the north, one could hide themselves away quite effectively. You should also visit the Isle of the Honored if you get a chance. There are many names of heroes there that you should read. Um, yeah, I think that that is the uh, Kickstarter island, which we will see uh, later. What can you tell me about the Queen? For as clever, cunning, and smart as Queen Helena is, she is also compassionate. She would not hesitate to protect others from harm, often by putting herself in harm's way. She is said to be shy, but I have never known that to be true. She and I often chat when she is out and about. And finally, uh, what can you tell me about spiders? Well, we are certainly misunderstood. We are very peaceful and proud. Pixies are very afraid of us, even though we'd never harm them unless they attack. Don't let them fool you. Some are brash and aggressive, but we never attack them. We only protect our homes. Uh, yeah, well, you sure seem a lot nicer than the pixies. What can you tell me about pixies? They are pranksters and most disagreeable. They will steal without remorse if it amuses them. Tell they me about are it. also known to fear spiders to a large degree. With good reason, I might add. If you know what I mean. Spiders are known to devour pixies if provoked. Okay, that's that's good to know. Maybe maybe we can threaten them to get the book pack. Goodbye. Goodbye, little bard. Take care. Oh, and she goes up. I was hoping that maybe we could show her the coin, but um, I guess we just can't. At least not now. Oh well, uh, let's look at the map. It's Where a map. We? Okay, so, um, what the? This is the western border. Oh, the, these are the spider forests, I think. So, let's go to the old rose garden. Maybe.
Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's save. Troll! It's a troll guarding the bridge. A stone bridge crosses the fast flowing river at this point. Oh yeah. The river has cut into the bank quite deep at this point and has revealed the rich soil around it. The river has widened at this point and flows strongly under the stone bridge. All right. Enough silly games. Talk to the bridge stone. Trolls are renowned the world over for three things. They are too stupid to learn the common tongue. They live near bridges and they love treasure. Suffice to say, he wouldn't understand if you spoke to him, and even if he did, he wouldn't care. Uh, can we make him happy? Let's loot easy. Maybe that, that'll make him happy. Despite the song being the happy song, this troll is not happy that he has no treasure. Whoa, what? What? Don't hit me. Uh... Can we just... You attempt to get past the troll. Oh. That was close. You'd better try to find another way to get past the troll. One more time. You attempt to get past the troll. Okay. So he that actually doesn't kill us. That's good. That's good to know. Um... The only thing I can offer is this gold coin. You hold out the gold coin to the troll, who looks at it with what you can only describe as disdain. You surmise that isn't enough gold to give a troll. Well, what about some flowers? The troll doesn't want that. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's just leave him then. And since uh, since we are quite far in the video you already, brush any yeah, uh, I think we can stop now, take a little break. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.